Today we're looking at this uh, instant cold noodle sesame flavor. It's a different kind of instant noodle, but we're gonna make it and we're going to eat it to show you what it looks like. Let's open it up. So let's see. I'll take out the noodle part. Instruction says to pour in the hot water for 10 minutes to soften it. It's been 10 minutes. We're gonna dump the water out and rinse it with cold water. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit hard still. Rinse it with cold water. Maybe it's supposed to be more firm. Maybe it needs to be actually boiled. It just says put put hot water in it though. Mm. I know that's the instruction. Mm. Sometimes you can't trust it. Okay. Okay, so I think now what we need to do is just pull the sauce packet in. This is the spicy, there's the sesame sauce, and I don't know what this is. Sesame sauce? Do you want it spicy? Um, not too much. Yeah, if you want more, you can add more later. Okay, and then just uh, stir it, mix it. I'm gonna try it and then give your review. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this because I really like liang pi. But we can't really get this kind of instant noodle here. So this was ordered from the app called Wee. Like W-E-E-E. -E -E. E? I don't know how many E's there are. So it's uh, very special. Let's see if it's worth it. Tastes like leather. I think it needs to be boiled more. Oh. It's like, it's not... It's not really done? Yeah. Alright, I have to take this call. Oh. Failed. Yeah. I feel like it will. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. I thought it's not too hard. <coughs> <laughs> it's like eating rubber bands. Oh yeah. But I follow the instructions though. Ten minutes, hot water. I think the instructions are not believable or maybe it's like personal preference or maybe i should have been 10 minutes covered oh you think it makes a difference i think it might because the temperature of the water will go down if you don't cover it mm. the instruction doesn't say to cover it though the sauce is good the sauce is what i expect mm -hmm. it's really good the sauce is really good it's just the texture is like a little bit undercooked. Mm. I feel like I'm eating a lot of rubber bands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next it time. It should be softer. Next time we should cook it longer then? Mm, yeah, I think probably I will try boil it in the pot and then try the noodle until there's the consistency, like the texture that I like. Mm -hmm. And then take it out and then rinse it in cold water and then put in the sauce. Okay. I think that would be ideal. Hmm. Maybe you have to order again. We have different flavors. So I could order like a couple more flavors. Mm -hmm. And then compare. Mm -hmm. It is edible. Yeah. I still keep eating it because it's good. <laughs> <laughs> The sauce makes it good. The sauce is like that sesame thing, which is kind of like um, like a tahini. Mm -hmm. And then it has like some vinegar in it, which makes it sour. Mm -hmm. so it's like a sesame slash sour slash spicy. Sounds like it will go well with uh, cucumber. I was just thinking that, yeah. You could probably put cucumbers in here. Uh, or you could probably just use that sauce with cucumbers only. Oh. Even just like as a dip. Mm-hmm. That'll be good. Okay.
Any final words? Mm. It's really hard to find fresh liang pi where we are. I've been trying to find a restaurant that actually makes it. The people, uh, Chinese people, like in a few years ago, was making it, and you can buy it from them. That was really, really good because it was freshly made. You know? mm -hmm. And I try to make it myself too. Semi successful, I would say. But they don't make it anymore. That lady who makes it says she doesn't have time to make it anymore. Oh. Because she was making it as kind of like a business kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Or then she got too busy, I think. Yeah. So, and I, it is possible to make. Like, I have tried to make it before, but it's just very time consuming. The one you try to make is the gluten kind. Well, we're supposed to put gluten in it. Mm. So, the mian tiao part, like the noodle part, is the part of the mian that's not gluten. Mm. Okay. Because you're supposed to put it like, like flour in water and then mix it and then it's going to separate. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom part, I think, is, like, is, the, is the gluten part. Yeah. And then the other part is the non-gluten part. They kind of separate it. Mm -hmm. And then you make the noodles from the part that's the non-gluten part. Oh. And then the gluten part you cook separately into actual gluten and then you put it together again. Yeah. So it's kind of like deconstructed and then reconstructed. Uh huh. So this one doesn't have cucumber and it doesn't have gluten. Okay. So that's you can add separate. Maybe when we go to New York City we can try to look for it. Mm hmm Happy eating. Okay. Bye.